So in your past life, you were really into money. In your former life, you were really, you knew how to play the game. You were good at it. But it was according to the flesh and according to the mind of the avatar. So now we're integrating the spirit and the mind of the spirit merging into one unit. And so now interest in the game returns. Because we realize both games are legitimate. The game of life itself and the game played within the matrix. But if we like one and hate the other, it's going to put us in an imbalance. So because of having those tendencies and, and having gone through that in my past life and quite likely yours, we came into this life disinterested in the game because we saw that it was corrupt. You know, we saw that it was, it made people kind of evil, it made humans become kind of sinister. And when that kind of power gets centralized, it works as a, a mechanism to control everybody within a paradigm. And a lot of people have now come to realize they don't want to be in that paradigm. This crosses all spectrums, from cryptocurrency to government to religious history. And we're coming to find that all of those things were presented from within a paradigm. And there's a greater truth, a greater reality, a greater knowing of self and other and everything else out there that has been suppressed and attempted to keep hidden. So it can no longer be hidden. And now we have decentralization coming along to offer us a new way of living outside of those paradigms of centralization and corruption. So many people may still be struggling with, especially spiritual people, struggling with the whole the whole money aspect and the material world aspect and listen if you're trying to merge your spirit with flesh in a physical world that aspect is very important and we can't just dislike it and avoid it and ignore it and think that it's going to change for the better it's only going to change for the better if we co-create something better. And so we are being offered the opportunity to create something better. And many people just do not understand what blockchain technology is. They don't understand how cryptocurrency and transitioning value to the internet to the, because everything, everything is uh, uh, consensual anyway. Everything's consensual anyway. So we, you would have, you have to concede in the matrix and with centralization. You're forced to concede. But with decentralization, you're not forced to do anything.
you participate with what you want to participate with and everybody in that ecosystem thrives together learns together grows together and uh, no outside authority can in inject itself in there to ruin everything for everybody by being you know just a bully swamp monster a swamp bully So as the crypto thing grows and as people you know get real excited and wild and you're going to think, man, they're wilding out on that crypto stuff. And maybe they are. Maybe they're looking at it for the wrong reasons. Maybe they're, you know, they just have dollar signs in their eyes. But it has to do with that too. But it's so much bigger than that. So much bigger than that. And when you find people that are wilding out on that you know don't be too quick to judge them and think oh they're just overexcited and it's all about money and it, and uh, you know i'm not very excited by that this is what i'm talking about it's going to change the entire world and how it operates and how it functions and it's decentralized if you understand what that statement says and means and can mean and the potential there you will be excited because you will see a bigger picture that's starting to look really good for everybody instead of this old narrative that's here where the decentralized authority looks utterly retarded, utterly useless, and is not representing the people. Who are the people? I don't know. Are they the NPCs or are we talking about real people? So yeah, they represent the NPCs. Well, those are not real people. The real people are here and we want representation. And we're willing to be our own representation and do it on our own blockchain, ecosystem, decentralized way of being free and doing commerce with those that we want to. So that's it. Signing out from Eden until next time, my friends. XRP is no longer under a dollar. Hate to have to tell you that if you didn't get in under a dollar. But the good news. You can easily double your money still, and maybe more than that, just by stepping into the ecosystem. And then when you do, when you do step in, because many of you will eventually step in, eventually you're going to see this bigger picture I'm talking about. Uh, when you do step in, start to learn about it. Start to educate yourself about it. Start, start understanding how it works and how the inner, you know, the inner operations of the blockchain and what it's doing and what its technology is designed to do. And then you will, you'll have that moment. You know, you'll have that moment where you get it and you can finally go, oh wow, I get it. Because most people are still in that. This is too new there's too much speculation there's too much noise about it all and nobody can really find where to land but uh it's coming and you're ahead of the wave if you choose to be so anyway from eden signing out peace